hello friends here comes my new video and the title or the topic of this particular video is theories of personal selling so certain theories have been developed based upon the experiential knowledge and you know these are the theories the first one is Ida's theory followed by buying formula theory of selling uh, behavioral equation theory the right set of circumstances theory so as you can see from my slide these are multiple theories that you can use you know to make sure that your customer buys your products and services so you can either uh, apply any one theory or two theory or it could be a combo of three four theories so it's entirely up to you you know so it depends upon the situation or the context you are into so you know these theories would really help you out uh, while selling your products and services to the buyers so first theory is Ida's theory in which A stands for attention I for interest d for desire a for action and s for satisfaction so this theory says that the attention is very very important so that's the first thing that a salesperson or a marketer should capture and then they can create the interest and the desire uh, so that the action in the form of the purchase order comes up and later you can check the satisfaction so you know the idea of this theory lies in capturing the attention of the customer first of all the second theory is buying formula theory means uh, you know for this theory the customer should be able to recognize the problem or probably you can make him recognize through your uh, upgraded version of products and services or the smart solution that you're trying to offer him so after the recognition of the problem and uh, offering of your solution customer probably would buy your products and then you check the satisfaction level so that's the theory you know that talks about the smart solution that you're trying to offer to your customers based upon his recognition of the problem then the next theory behavioral equation theory as you can see this equation in which b is equal to p into d into k into v so b is buying and p means the psychological condition of the customers and d is the data or the information that a marketer usually provides and k is the price for which the customer would seek the value and V is the reinforcement of all these three factors collectively would create an impact for buying of your products and services that's what the behavioral equation theory talks about the right set of circumstances uh, theory talks about creation of the rapport with the customer that you would create over a period of time through you know 24 by 7 by 365 availability and smile you can invite your customers for lunch dinner or you know you can offer him several passes for movies or fashion shows or exhibitions or probably corporate events that are happening throughout the country you can also create a right set of circumstances by offering gifts and discounts and while creation of other marketing schemes so you know that is what would create a right set for you right set means the right repo then comes the product based orientation actually there are several orientations that you have read in marketing or basics of marketing or advanced marketing management like uh, production orientation second is the product of course orientation third is sales orientation fourth is marketing societal marketing orientation I mean and if you talk about the advanced orientation in marketing these are social marketing orientation digital marketing orientation and then sustainable marketing orientation so you know you can pick and choose any of the orientation but here in why we are talking about the product based orientation specifically because that talks about the the niche level that you've created for your products and services so you know here you can offer a world-class quality product to your customers so that's what the product based orientation is all about then comes the need based orientation as the theory suggests the first of all you need to capture the need of the customer and then you can apply fab model on it so you can create a you know point of parity and point of uh, differentiation specification chart for your customers which is very comparative in nature and then you can convince him through advantages and benefit that he is going to get from your products and services uh, then comes the spin model this model says that you should ask questions to your customers based upon the situation he is into the kind of problems he is facing the kind of implication it would have and the, then you know uh, then you fit your product uh, based upon his need so you know that's the spin model apart from this there are other methods as well or golden golden rules as well in sales uh, methodology 
but you know that would uh, create my video too long so to cut the long story short i would end my video here and i would you know request you to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel to have more number of videos on sales and marketing domain thank you very very much